The fact that I've done something that Tony Hawk's never done, which is unbelievable, really weird to say. No, it's pretty weird. He's a world record holder at the age of 12. the uh, 900, I was joking around saying, hey, maybe I could do a 1080. And you know, I was joking and I was laughing about it because I thought I was just being kind of dumb saying that. And you know, I actually thought about it for a while. I was like, I don't see why not. I could do the 900. I might be able to do a 1080. The first time I tried it, I was like, oh my god, I actually got it down. Didn't die or anything. But on my fifth try, I landed it and I was so happy, it was amazing. I got a text from my friend, oh my God, your, your son just landed the first 1080, and I couldn't believe it. I mean, I just, I could, I could not believe that he did it. After I landed 1080, things got a little bit out of control. I gotta go to China. It's just crazy what you're witnessing is history in this man's skateboard. He got invited to go to the Asian X Games. He showed up and he was, you know, he was prepared. He was ready to just have fun. So Tom Shar is going to try it again. Oh, he did it! 1080! Look at his mom's choked up. She's, she's, she's choked up right now. I can't believe it. He was six points ahead of, you know, Bob Burnquest. And then it just dawned on me, oh my god, Tom's gonna win the X Games. Tom Shar, in his first Asian oh X Games, god, walks no. away with a gold medal. It's crazy. This whole thing is completely crazy. It kind of overnight went from my little brother is that, you know, pretty decent skateboarder to like just a rock star. It was, it's been pretty crazy these last couple months. You gotta call Mark and Did you see the pennant as well? Do I? We're going to make flags for people to hold at the X Games. I know. Awesome. <laughs> Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Elmer sent me a uh, board with my name on it for the X Games. I never even thought I'd have one, a board with my name on it until I was a lot, a lot, a lot older. It's, I don't know, it's amazing though. Now I'm competing in the Summer X Games in LA, so I'm really excited. I've always looked up to all these guys, and now that I'm actually skating with them is amazing, because I never thought I'd even meet them or talk to them or give them a high five or something like that, but I'm actually competing with them and skating with them. He's really excited. He's getting ready, and we'll see what happens. I mean, it's, it's, it's a much bigger event, and, it, and there's a lot of pressure. I think that there's definitely going to be some hype around him in the 1080 and that he's 12 and it's just this little prodigy kid that's never really been, I mean his first real like big event was X Games Asia. So honestly at this point, I don't think anybody really expects anything from him. If I do do a 1080, that's, that's, that's great, but I also want to show that I can do more than I guess just a 1080. I just want to have fun and just have a great experience because it'll be the first X Games I've ever done. I'm just getting ready for X Games pretty much. I don't want to go to X Games and get last and you know people will think, oh this kid doesn't know what he's doing, doesn't know how to skate the mega ramp. At least show that I'm there for a reason, I'm not just a little kid. That, those there because he's a little kid.